Hello, welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I am your host, Matthew Horky. Hi, I'm Shireen Tan. Welcome back to the show today. We are back after two a week and a half in Napa Valley. Yeah. Ready to shoot and retaste some wines from Santa Barbara County. Are you excited? I'm excited. I just turned back because there's a shadow at the edge. <laughs> okay, no problem. It doesn't, matter. it doesn't matter. If there's a little shadow, we have to do some lighting. So we're getting ready to taste some wines from Presquil here. And we'll talk about the producer in a second. But I just want to let you know that this video has not been paid for in any way, shape, or form. But if you like these videos we're doing, if they add value to you... Check out our guide to the wines of Santa Barbara entitled Sipping Santa Barbara Recommended Wines and Producers. It's available on Kindle, it's on Amazon Kindle, PDF, and EPUB, right? So yep. I'll put that up on the screen. Okay. All right, so uh, we have three wines here from Presquil. We poured them into these beautiful yeah. Gabriel gold glasses, uh, super light. These things are super nice. I will have a discount. We will have a discount code for these glasses at the end of the show, right? Okay. And we poured them into these glasses using our Coravin Model 2 Elite. Thank you to Coravin for sending us a test sample to use for this series on Santa Barbara Wines. It's been awesome. Yep, could have some. done it without either of them. Yeah. So, let's get started. These are the wines of Presquil. Now, Presquil is real interesting. They're in the Santa Maria Valley, the northern portion of Santa Barbara County. And it was a southern family. Uh, the Murphy family moved from, I believe, Louisiana, moved out west and started a winery. Uh, these are the wines that they uh, wanted to show. I have We have not had these vintages yet, so we're really excited. But I like this winery a lot. Shireen likes this winery a lot because the consultant is Jeremy <laughs> Sace of Domain Dujac. Those are wines Shireen likes very much. So, you ready to get started? Yeah, especially. I'm excited to see the Pinot Noir. <laughs> well, let's get started here. First, we're getting started with the uh, Sauvignon Blanc from 2016. Fresh white wine. This was pretty cool. It was aged for six months. A third in uh, concrete eggs, a third in stainless steel, and a third in used oak. Mm. Let's get into the wine here so far. I could smell this as I was pouring it out of the Corvin. Mm. What do you what do you pick out? This is quite marble in style. But but it's dialed back a little bit. It has a little bit of minerality, but it's still quite New Zealand esque. Like it's it's pungent, it's got some kiwi like flavors, mm -hmm. right? Kiwi. Lime, lemon. Kind of snappy. I still get some grassy flavors. Yep. I find the nose quite attractive because it's it's ripe, but it's not overdone. Yep, I agree. Right? Let's give this a go. Mm. I'm really happy to be back tasting some Santa Barbara Pinot Noir. Sorry, Sauvignon Blanc, because after tasting them in Napa, where they're a little bit fatter, I much prefer this style. What do you think of this wine? You know how I don't generally like the pungent... Um, nose or Sauvignon Blanc but I mean I can appreciate it from from a wine lover perspective and I think this is a p fantastic wine I think this is yeah. fantastic it's green on the nose you get a lot of green fruit I love the finish there's a bit of tropical fruit I love the mango finish it's a medium bodied white it's not huge yeah it's not it's not uh linear. it still has acidity it has some weight to carry it uh really 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 nice wine big enough to hold up the chicken I think Definitely some cream sauce, but it has this acidity and these lovely fruit flavors. I'm a 4.2 out of 5 on this. I think this. the acidity is stunning. I'm 4.2 out of 5 on this. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. One of the better new, uh, Sauvignon Blancs we've had. So yeah. uh, all these wines, they make different versions of all three of these wines. These are Santa Maria Valley, which means they get fruit from all over Santa Maria Valley. They have some single vineyard efforts as well. Let's move on. We have the Presquil Chardonnay from 2015. One year, and you have the text sheets here, used oak, I believe, in six months in stainless steel. So I yep. am excited to taste this. Uh, Shireen prefers the, you prefer, what, for Chardonnay, do you prefer Santa Maria Valley or do you prefer Santa Maria Hills more? Generally Santa Maria. What so, about you? Uh, <clears throat> I have to say, I think for Chardonnay, I prefer Santa Maria Valley. Why? Uh, it has like a little bit, it's not as bright. It's not as big, okay. and it has a, maybe an herbal note to it. I okay. think. Let's give this. A, let's give this a go here. Pretty explosive nose, actually. Are we picking up here. Peachy. 
Lots of peach. Fruit. Not too much wood, which I am loving. Not too much wood at all, but it is there. You do get some vanilla. Yeah, you get a yogurt as well. I really like, just really pretty nose. Santa Maria noses to me for Chardonnay, maybe a little more perfumey type deal. Where Santa Maria Hills, have, I get more fruit up front. That's what, that's my interpretation okay. of it. Let's give this a go. For me, Santa Maria is more fruit and, and Santa Rita is more mineral. But the generalization. What do you think? It's not fair to compare, but since we're having this side by side, I prefer the Sauvignon Blanc. Mm. It's more memorable <clears throat> to me. The, I think that I think this is a little bit. It's kind of. It's not as expressive right now. This is a little bit bouncier acidity. Still, really, really well made Chardonnay. Medium bodied, not huge. Just a touch of oak. You're gonna get everything that you want out of Chardonnay. Uh, a little bit of melon, a little bit of pineapple, peach. You know, a little bit of banana, but not overly banana, not overly buttery or anything like that, right? Bright acidity. I, I think for me, I think this is pretty dar darn good. I'm higher on this than you are. Hmm? Go for it, please. Hey, I'm 4.0 out of 5 on this. I think this is good. The Sauvignon Blanc got me a little bit more excited, but I still think this is a good one. Shall we move on? Anything, sure. else? Anything else you want to add on the... No, I think you're pretty good with the assessment. All right, let's move on. So this is the wine that Shireen has been very excited about. This is the Presqu'ile Pinot Noir from 2015. <laughs> 2015 Santa Maria Valley. Was it a whole cluster fermentation? I don't even. I would believe that there is <clears throat> at least a little Cause bit. Because Dujac is a, a champion of whole cluster fermentation. Does it say? 32% uh, whole cluster. Whole cluster. Oh, I, almost, I got so excited I almost took it all for myself and didn't give you any. Uh, first of all, true Pinot Noir color. For me, uh, Santa Rita Hills usually has more color for Pinot Noir than Santa Maria Valley. That's what I get. I don't pay, really pay much attention <clears throat> okay, to color okay. most of the time. Yeah. It's got this nice cranberry juice color. Let me give this a stiff. Mm. What do you think? True, the 777 clone nose comes out. The brown sugar. Is it, is it 777? Really? Be, no, there has to be a Mount Eden yeah. 777, Palmard 667, and 115 are the clones for you hardcore wine geeks. The nose is very good. Right on yeah. point. For me, this is kind of what I want in California Pinot Noir. Uh, I get cool red fruit, a little bit of like that cool whip, a little bit of earthiness, fall autumn leaves, not a ton of wood, although it's there. Mm -hmm. 17 months in oak. You're liking this a lot, I think, right? By the nose, this is the nose I appreciate. More red fruit, um, cola, a little bit of spice, vanilla spice, brown sugar. Let's give it a go. It's com quite complex. For I, I'm sorry. These, I mean, these range twenty eight dollars for Sauvignon Blanc, thirty five for the uh, Chardonnay, and forty two U S dollars for the Pinot Noir. Let me. Fantastic tannic structure. Really nice. And it has this extended candied cherry finish to it. it has Long finish. Yeah. Uh, it's a little more tannins. I always think of Santa Maria Valley uh, Pinot Noir to have softer tannins, That's right? What I this has a little bit too. more power, don't you think? Yeah, I don't think it's just a fruit per se. Maybe it's the style of winemaking as well. I feel that this is more Santa Rita in style in the sense that it's built for aging, long yeah. aging. I, especially for now, just a Santa Maria, an AVA appellation, not single vineyard yeah. wine, 42 US dollars. I am huge on this. I'm 4.3 out of 5. I think it's very good. Anything else that you want to add on this wines? Well, I would definitely recommend this wine. I like it. Okay. Yeah. I am going to put up the discount code for the Gabriel Glass, sorry, Gabriel Glass Standard Edition Alpha Decanter. You can get 15% off. We are not affiliates in any way, shape, or form, but you can use the code. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen right now. If you like this video too, once again, check out our guide to the wines of Santa Barbara, Sipping Santa Barbara. Recommended wines and producers. Anything else you want to add on Presquil? I think we're all set. I think they're, they're up and coming um, producer and a lot of people have been saying great things about them. Strong showing. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, I didn't really know what to expect. So strong showing by all these wines. I, I think, think it's especially been these say, two. It's been said and believed by a lot of people as well that they are getting better and better every with every new vintage. Okay. Yeah. So check out their wines. I will put the link in the description box. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel. I will see you at the next episode.